Okay. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> ah! He has got to come with me. I just don't even know right now. <laughs> Everybody needs one of those. Right in the door, I spot this fantastic piece of art. I think it says like Tanner Eagles. That's all I can make out. So it's possibly a Native American done piece. And then I'm looking and they look to have some really nice art in this store. So I am going to have to put the camera down and peruse through it with both hands. I didn't really find anything I wanted to come home with and I went next over to the lamp section where they had a tremendous amount of lamps. I'm not used to seeing this many lamps uh, at a Goodwill, but wow, um, quite the variety. Most of them contemporary and the ones that were vintage were too big and bulky to deal with. I considered picking up this piece to go take down to the booth, but it did have some damage up at the top, so I left it behind. I like these little uh, crackle glass lamps, but they were modern, as I could tell by the cord and the plugs. I spotted these thinking, gosh, remember those bird lamps that I just bought? Uh, these probably would have gone very nice on them. but. I already found a set for those bird lamps, so I didn't need them. Cute little soap dispenser, but I'm really, really trying to leave stuff like that behind. It's something I normally would pick up and resell. spotted this little vintage Singer sewing machine attachment kit, if you will. They only bring, oh, about 10 bucks on eBay, so I left it behind. You can see I started at the back of the store this time, something I don't normally do. I'm making my way up to the stuff that I really love. I'll get there. Into the clear glass. And boy, their shelves were not lacking in this department. There was quite a bit to see. I thought this was a cute little cat dish. But again, what's it gonna bring? 10 bucks? Nope, leaving it behind. Bird. Yes, coming with me. 3.99, that's even better. I spotted this little vintage Fenton hobnail it's a white opalescent, not a great, great piece, but it's a nice little accent piece. Uh, if it's not bringing much on eBay, I can always put it down at the booth for 10 to $15. So I did pick this up. This bottle looks to have some age on it. You see the yellowing, but Gosh, it could be trying to fool me. They could have purposely made it with that yellow tinge. So not knowing enough about it, I did leave that one behind as well. Then I spot this gorgeous art glass centerpiece bowl, which 
Doesn't look like something you'd want to ship, but I had a good feeling about it, and it is Jablonski, and it is coming home with me for $5.99. I'll show you why. So here I did a search for Jablonski glass bowl. It is Polish glass, but this is also an interesting lesson for you. This is basically the same bowl by three different sellers. Look at what this seller got for this bowl versus these two sellers. And I suspect it's because these two sellers just didn't ask for more. So don't be shy in setting those prices on unique pieces because if you don't ask for it, you're certainly not going to get it. But now let's go look at what is available. And you can see the price range that this Jablonski glass, say that 10 times fast, is going for. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if I were to take out bowl and just put Jablonski glass, there, I had to say it again, you can see, obviously, these are asking prices. And we know that asking is one thing, selling is another. So a quick check on the sold shows you there are some pieces of Jablonski going for thousands of dollars. So I am really excited that I picked up this piece and I will probably price mine in the $200 range. That makes the hassle factor okay. Okay, now I'm excited. I'm finding stuff everywhere I go. This turkey was really well done. Reminded me of a Fitz and Floyd piece, but I think it's missing a lid. I'm gonna get him anyway. And then I spot more of this hobnail on the shelf. So I grab this piece to go with the other little piece that I got. Now I could actually make a listing and put both pieces together. And then I start spotting this Fenton silver crest. And I'm gonna have to put the camera down as I load the cart with all of my goodies. Okay, my cart is full. Now I did get this piece and another piece because I figured out they belong to a tidbit tray. And if I could actually find the rest of it, it sells for about 60 to $70. So, I took a chance on it. Okay, now I'm on a roll. And I spot these little cuties from World Market. World Market is kind of an upscale store. Uh, and I've never been able to buy anything in there. So I went ahead and grabbed all three of these little cuties. And I like that little green vase, but it's pretty common. This was really interesting. Couldn't make out the mark, but there is definitely a mark on this piece. Could just be an art pottery piece. I just set that little creamer aside so I could take a look at this picture which is very interesting. And then there was these. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen these for a while. These are the Bailey's Wink Mugs. They usually come in a Mr. and Mrs. pair, but you can see the prices are just not very good. These two actually were signed for a specific place of business, um, so probably worth even less. Keep looking for Ray Dunn. I'm looking. I'm gonna find some one of these days in the wild. This looked like a hobbyist piece, but it had nice colors to it. Oh, it's a dolphin. You must go in my cart. These were pretty, but they did not have their saucers. I 
spotted this cute little bowl with the bunny in it, but it's actually a Target brand. Threshold is Target. Very cute, though. And then this is a Pampered Chef egg cooker. Ceramic egg cooker. I'm going to take this and look it up. More Wilton. I used to buy those all the time, but now there's only selective ones that are really worth selling and I'm not really up on which ones it is. I love these things that have the recipes in them. I contemplated buying this as I love au gratin potatoes. After looking up the Pampered Chef item, I discovered not worth me buying. was really drawn to this canister with the spoon kind of built in the side. You know, it, it just had a really kind of a mid-century feel to me. Uh, even though I know it's not, it just, and the top was clear. Oh my gosh, you can see what you have in there. I have no idea yet who makes these. I'm still determined to find out. There's a whole bunch of these little teddy bear tea set guys. I have just never been a teddy bear person. They just, they just don't do anything for me. So I spot a second one of these canisters and that kind of clinched the deal for me uh, to go ahead and grab both of them just so unique I have never seen any like them and they've got like those retro colors going kind of the avocado green and the I don't know what do you call that yellow I'm sure it has a name harvest is it harvest or harvest gold yeah maybe that's it I was trying to get down to the tray that was on the very bottom here, or platter, if you will. I'm not a big fan of selling these to ship online. Let me just make that clear. I was looking at this as potential to put into the booth. I actually really, really liked it. Obviously, it's got a birdhouse and a bird on it. Come on. So I, 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 had, to, I had to give it some thought before I left it behind. Okay, I'm just drawn to these goofy looking colorful animal things, but this one, kind of cheaper made, hard to, hard to tell you what I'm trying to say there with that cheap ceramic, but I think you know what I'm talking about. I got that for my mechanic, for real. <laughs> Sometimes I buy things just because they have such an emotional pull on me. I feel like they'll do that for someone else, even though it's a contemporary item like this lidded coffee mug. I think it's a coffee mug. It's just so beautiful. I thought, how could I not make money on it? I was really bummed that this little guy right here was supposed to obviously have a head to him. But it's not there, so he has to stay behind. Darn it! Ha ha! Finally! I found a Ray Dunn! How much is it? 99 cents? I will buy a Ray Dunn for 99 cents. I have no idea what it's worth. I'm just so excited I finally found one in the wild. Uh, 
All right. Now we're starting to get into the good stuff. This was intriguing, but it had a lot of spoon scratches inside, so left that one behind. Golden Knights, that is a big thing here in Vegas, and I was all set to buy this for like 99 cents, and then saw that 4.99, yep, path. This was kind of cool. It wasn't really etched. It was kind of a pressed design. Um, it was interesting. I don't think it was very old though. This is a piece of EAPG, Early American Pressed Glass. And I have sold a piece like this that was in a brown color or what they refer to as root beer. So I I wasn't quite sure about the clear and because it's sort of a plain pattern, I went ahead and left it. But it's a cool piece and I, I actually really loved it. Glass vases, glass vases, glass vases. You gotta look. You gotta look because you just never know what's gonna be tucked in there. So you can't just pass it by. Um, but most of these are pretty boring. Even when there's vintage glass in there, it's still just not worth enough to pick up for resale. I have no idea. No idea. I'm just really waiting for something to call to me from those shelves. Pick me up, pick me up, like this piece. And this was really interesting. All those little flowers were, um, I'm trying to think of the term for it. It, it was like a, a, like a blanc de chine for sure. It had some crazing, but I'm not sure if that crazing was artificially put there. But this had a nice feel to it, and for $3.99, I went ahead and picked this up. All right, on to the wood shelves. Oh my gosh, it's a turtle, but I left it. I can, I can leave turtles behind. This was interesting, uh, very modern, but interesting. I do love that the shelves are starting to fill up again. It was pretty barren for a while. All right, come on, pizza coasters? Uh, who doesn't need pizza coasters? I have to get those. Just a 
little on the dangerous side to me, sitting on the shelf. It, those were actual little daggers in there. Hmm. <laughs> I did push it back just a little bit more. Okay, let's see what we can find on the metal shelves. <laughs> Again, this is an item. Had it been 99 cents, I probably would have picked it up. But not for $2.99. I mean, that $2 can make a world of difference in resale. I believe this was a colander. I think. It was interesting. like a big concrete thing. Oh, it's a fish. but it was pretty scratched up. This was missing the little wind-up mechanism. Okay, come on. Come on now. <laughs> ah! He has got to come with me. I just don't even know right now. <laughs> Everybody needs one of those. I thought this was either a bank or a cookie jar, but it was neither, so I left it. Ooh! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is is a John Perry sculpture. These were like, I wanna say the 70s, 80s. They were super popular, but now they're very collectible. Some of that laser art can actually do pretty good too. I had to move somebody's empty cart out of the way. It was in my way. I needed to shop. These are the important shelves. And I spot these. Now, I know these are not old, but gosh darn, they are peacock bowls. Or at least that's what the colors and the shape look like to me. So I absolutely grabbed these. Classic wildlife collection. Okay, here we go with the one-handed try to figure out what's in there. Uh, I did figure out it is the shark of the series. Couldn't find any solds, only a couple of listed, and not very good prices at that. More froggies with a mud man on it. Yay! I will take the mud man. Oh no, he has got a broken hand. Darn it! Thought I had scored.
Debrecht. Debrecht. Okay, this is one of those moments where I'm kind of kicking myself. So I went and did a quick search of souls for Debrecht, and oh, hello. Uh, this appears to be a name that we want to be looking for. Now, these, of course, are not the same as that figure that I found there on the shelf. But what these remind me of is like the Jim Shore look. Um, yeah, these bring some good money. Now, that particular piece, mm, I'm going to guess he would have been in the $20 to $30 range. But still, that's definitely where I want to be profit-wise. And I am a little mad at myself for not picking up, well, I picked him up. I just didn't put him in my cart. And uh, next time, I will know. And I hope this helps you too. As I was heading to the checkout, they were bringing out a cart of stuff and I found this guy! No idea what he's worth, but isn't he cool? Well, that was a good run. Um, yeah, they get some pretty cool stuff up here. It's a much different part of town. It's interesting how things are different depending on where you go. A lot of high-end stuff in this store. And uh, I picked up all of that silver crest. It's Fenton, in case you didn't know. And I know some of the pieces don't sell as well as others, but it will be a really good education for me to refresh on what sells well. But the other thing is that if you have a lot of the same type of thing, not type, brand, maker, same keywords, and it's in the same category, the eBay search algorithm is such that when you sell one of those pieces, you get a boost on the other ones. I don't know why it happens, how it happens, but I can tell you it happens all the time for me. So that's the other reason to have a bit of a niche is so that you are listing things in the same categories over and over because that gives you a boost. So we're going to find out. I'm not going to lose money on it one way or another. Just that basket sells for 40 bucks. So, and the pieces with the hole in it, um, I am going to look and see if I can find just the handle to put that back together. Because if I can put that back together, that is an $80 piece. So, there we go. All right. That will do it for today. It is getting very hot. It's not even noon yet, and it's very hot, and I'm going to go get into my air conditioning. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, see you on the next one.